Many of your comrades were swallowed up by the Queen's miasma, lost the very essence, and became puppets of the enemy. Some of you had to fight former friends who had joined the ranks of the lost, but you still managed to return home. I salute each and every one of you. So, keep the faces of your loved ones ever in your thoughts. Remember the comrades who have been reduced to ash! I, Gregorio Silva, pledge this to you! When this war ends, the ones left standing will be us! Fight at my side, and we will bring this hell to an end! Remember to keep your hearts covered. There's no coming back if you get hit there. The cursed beast! Welcome back. How are you feeling? Do you know where you are? You were killed two days ago. And now you've returned. Just relax. Here, could you fill out this medical form for me? I'd like to confirm some things if that's alright. How much do you remember about yourself? No signs of frenzy or major dysfunction. You appear to be in excellent shape. The damage to your heart had me a bit worried. But you're surprisingly resilient. Still, if anything feels off, be sure to let me know right away. We revenants are immortal creatures. However, if you become one of the lost, you'll be beyond any hope of salvation. Here. The Queen's miasma has been growing thicker. When you're fighting, just remember to hang on to this, no matter what. Looks like it's time for the meeting. I know you're probably not feeling up to it. But it'll be over soon enough. Hang in there. There's a report that the Queen broke through our defensive grid and is headed this way. However, our foe was also hurt pretty badly in the attack. This is our chance to finally turn the tide and crush her. Just be sure not to drink the Queen's blood. Too many of us have joined the ranks of the Lost after their bodies rejected it. Watch your backs out there. Got it? 
right. Looks like it's time for the party. Let's be sure to give our guests a warm welcome. Completely corrupted revenants, the Queen's sorry puppets. Listen, kid. Show them no mercy. Our ill-mannered guest is here. Guess that means we have to begin the festivities. Take the spear. All right, gang. This is the moment of truth. This creature will never hurt any of my people again. At last, you can know peace. Well done. Your resolve was truly admirable. Sleep well, friend.
Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. It seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. A new spring, and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot! Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch! 
Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside your doubt. By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Wait, what are you... Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's alright. You can do it. Let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Daddy! Mommy! Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. The few humans that remain are under Silva's control. Wandering reverents like us are forced to hunt for blood beads and face death. Even if some reverents must be sacrificed for our survival. You reap what you sow, right? Well, 
that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. that it was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too we both melted into you I can't believe this what a power Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth. Always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But. Well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. 
Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinanome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. We think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Let go of me! We lost the race. Well, strength succeeds where speed fails. Wait, this place is... Hurry it up, damn wretch! Without your blood, we'll all suffer! Or didn't you think about that when you ran off? Take him somewhere safe. You will me for this. You awake? You? I remember you. Where's the girl? Answer me! Where did you take her? We're taking custody of the girl. That human belongs to us. We will take her back. Humans aren't property. They have the same right to live that any of us do. Don't give me that noble act. They have no rights. And why shouldn't we feed on them? We're the ones keeping them safe, after all. Why were we kicked out of our graves? Who did we die for, again and again, at the Queen's hand? We writhe with this terrible thirst. We live in fear of joining the ranks of the Lost. And for whose sake? It's all in the service of humans. If blood is the only price they have to pay, then they have a pretty good deal. That doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want with them. And what about the rights of Revenants? Huh? It's not like we're choosing to live this way because it's such a barrel of laughs! That should be enough to get you through a month or so. Whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute! Just make sure that you and I never cross paths again. This is your one and only warning. No way. The Crimson Sword? Uh, 
I guess we'll be rationing for a while. Oh well. What is lost can be found again, huh? I swear I'll end it. The Revenant's suffering must end. Okay, we can trace the flow of the blood beads from here. Just a sec. Give me a moment to finish this, then we can head out. Our destination is this way. This should get us there. We set? All right then. I know you're there. What are you? Stay back! I'm the one who decides how I live! I won't listen to you anymore! That's fine. Just put down the knife. I'm sick and tired of it! Day after day, having my blood sucked by every passing revenant! I'm not an animal! You're right. And we can help you. I know someone who can take you to one of the government shelters for humans. If you ask, they'll take you in and you'll be able to live in safety. What? You won't have to spend your days living in fear of revenants anymore. Although you will be asked to donate blood. It's... it's a trick. Do you really think I'm going to fall for that? Everything you need to know is on that paper. You're the one who decides how you live. Why? I think the time for sacrifices is over. That's all. All right, we should hurry. This place has changed completely too. Yeah. Seems like everything's changed since the Great Collapse. The only thing that stayed the same is our appearance. <sighs> Come on. We won't find the source by reminiscing. It's my fault. You say something, Louis? No. Why didn't I... Is this... is this really my...? Nobody would want to relive that. I couldn't stop Cruz from going into a frenzy. So many people lost their lives, including my sister. I wanted to forget my frailty. But if we can find the source and ensure a stable supply of blood beads, then revenants will be freed from their thirst. Once that happens, there will no longer be any need for Silva's levy system, and humans and revenants will finally be able to live together in peace. I'm going to take responsibility for my past. I think it's the least I can do. Then stop talking about it. Let's get it done. Are we ending this nightmare or what? You can't charge forward if you're always looking back. Yeah, I know.
So, where are you dragging us off to next? What? The blood vein here leads to the old city ruins. Huh? Wait, hold on a second. Shouldn't it lead from the old city ruins? Singing. Hey, look at that. It's him. Careful. It's the hunter. Is that woman his partner? your story is, but let go of the woman. Now. What the? Where'd they go? What just happened? All right, I'm currently tracing the spring's flow. Just hold on, give me a moment. Wait, what's going on here? We have to go back to the old city ruins. There must be something we missed there. Anyway, let's get going. Stop them all. Hmm. Searching for blood beads on your own? That's awfully bold. Listen, no one here wants this to turn violent, so just hand over your blood beads. What if we don't want to? Then I'll take them. You're too late. A kid? Get away from Mia! Nicola! What are you doing out here? Because you... <coughs> He's on the verge of a frenzy. That's why you want the blood beads, isn't it? If you lay a finger on him, I'll carve out your heart. Uh, here. Take this. That's for him. Give it to him, quick. No! You haven't had anything to drink, Mia. Don't be silly. Go on. It's for you.
The symptoms aren't fading. Why? It's not enough, that's all. I... I just have to find more for him. Hey, come on. Going out on your own is crazy. Thanks for your concern, but we'll be alright. Come on, let's go. So, I don't think... Yeah, I know. Let's go after them. Where'd he run off to? These ashes are the boys. Something's coming! all of that. Damn. She's losing herself. She needs blood. Right. Then we're going back to base. I want to keep me as safe. Don't go, Nicola! Dream? What exactly is going on here anyway? Why does every blood vein we find lead back to the old city ruins? The key to finding the source is there. That's all I can say for certain. Huh, sure. 
But we've been everywhere we can... Try here. You know the statue of the goddess in the ruins? There's a mechanism inside of it. I see. So that's our ticket. A hey, are you sure you should be up and about? Yeah, it's okay. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. I'm fine now. I hope I'll get a chance to repay you. That information is more than enough. There is a favor I'd like to ask. I'd like you to tell me how to get here. Please, it's... It's really important to me. I'll pay you back, I promise. I'd love to tell you. If I knew. I'm not sure of the path there myself. Other than that, it's sealed off by my asthma. I see. Sorry, I don't mean to make demands of you. It's not impossible, though. We were able to pass through the miasma. <laughs> Thanks to our friend here. If you decide to stay with us, I'm sure we'll find the way to your snowy mountain eventually. Of course, you would need to help us out with our objective first. I'm glad to do whatever you need me to. As long as I end up reaching my destination. We have a deal. Good to have you along. Likewise. Well, great. I guess that's settled then. You are now officially one of our friends. Friends? I'm Yakimo. This brainiac here is Louie. And... Huh? Where'd Murasame and Io get to? I mean, if that's okay. It is. Actually, I don't think we've gotten your name yet. Oh, I'm Mia Karnstein, and I'm good in a fight if you guys ever need the help. Yeah, you sure did a number on Yakumo. Seriously, that really hurts. <laughs> Glad to have you on our side, Mia. So, every spring we've found so far leads back to here. Come on, let's head in. The source can't be far off. someone else memory is what binds the very essence of oneself together if you gather broken fragments of blood code you can stitch them together with threads of memory 
Please, I beg of you, I beseech you, use your power now. didn't do a thing. This way. to go. is still lingering here. Or maybe something in this place is keeping it here. <laughs> A vestige? But look at the size of it. Hold it. Something's not right. Scratch. What's the plan? It'll regenerate soon. <laughs> it's about to. If you gather broken fragments of blood code, you can stitch them together with threads of memory. You can do it. Please, save everyone. No! I'll be honest, I never expected to see you again like this. It's been a long time, Louis. Aurora? Aurora? 
Aurora, is that you? What are you doing here? The answer was inside that memory. Fragments of the Queen's body were locked inside of successors. Human sacrifices. And I... am one of them. The Queen? But she was put down years ago. Officially, yes. But there's more to that, as you probably know. Revenants are seemingly immortal creatures, locked in a cycle of death and rebirth. But if you destroy a Revenant's heart, then their body dissolves, and they can never revive again. The Queen should have been no exception. An immortal among immortals, even when reduced to ash. The Queen's regeneration couldn't be stopped. So you locked her away? Yes. By carving her undying body into relics, and fusing those relics into the bodies of others. In doing so, the Queen's menace faded, and for a brief time, there was peace. But we all knew the plan was desperate... and flawed. Even with the relics locked away, the Queen's desire to live on could not be suppressed. The relics soon began to corrode the bodies of the successors, causing them constant and terrible anguish. You have witnessed the end result. They are reduced to living as beasts, devoid of all reason, seeking only to act on their most basic instincts. Yet, it was your power that restored my sanity. You have the ability to accept the Queen's blood. What? You have the power to quell the relics at last. Please, I beg you, relieve them of their suffering. This gate leads to the crypts where the successors rest. To reach the others, you will need to find these gates. I believe you can open it now. I will remain here, as I always have, to watch over and protect the paths leading to the successors. And the blood bead flow. So, this really is the source. Yes, beyond the gate. There rests the one who sheds tears of blood. Take care of her, Louis. Her? What do you mean? If the resting successors join the ranks of the lost, then the seals will break. The relics will be released, and the queen will be reborn. Before that happens... Your suffering is over. So... 
The source of the blood beads is just through that gate. And waiting on the other side... ...will be someone I know. You want us to wait? Come on. So it's true. It was you all along. <laughs> Karen! What in the world is all this? All of this... is a part of her? Never ended. The Queen was still alive, and we were. We were kept alive all this time because of the blood that flowed from this place. My sister became a successor. She sacrificed herself to stop the Queen, and her tears are what kept us alive. Hunter. You. I destroyed you with my own hands. How are you here now? Just as I suspected, they have the power to calm the relics. It's just like Eva's. No, it's even stronger than hers. You know, you could join with us, Carrier of the Blood. That power of yours, it would be a shame to waste such a resource. Careful. He's stronger than he looks. We'll do our best to shield you. Just remember to protect your heart. Very well, in that case. There's a heap of things I want to know. And you will tell me. I'll make you tell me. Why are you here? To keep you from going too far. Eva. Fine, that's enough. I'll leave for now. But remember, I'll be coming back for you. Give my offer some thought, hmm? An attendant of the relics. One who stands by and serves a successor. It is the same for me. My duty is to stand by your side and lend you my support, just as she did for her successor. We were created with the same purpose. That attendant, Leda. She was a defender of sacred ground. 
I am certain she fulfilled her duty until the end. Yes, she fulfilled her duty, and yet... I'm not sure how to describe what I'm feeling. It seems so... empty somehow. Her life was consumed entirely by her mission. Leda. I... I want to know more. All this time I've been blindly following my duty. But is what I'm doing really the right thing? What is my true purpose in life? If I am with you, I may be able to find the answers to some of my questions, just as I did now. I realize that what I ask you now may not be part of my duty. Still, I feel I must ask it of you nevertheless. Please, will you... Will you permit me to go with you in your future travels? Are you sure? Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. I shall do my best. That's quite a view. Yeah. I think I'm beginning to understand why people take up hiking as a hobby. It's just like before. Nicola, what could have brought you all the way out here? You... weren't you turned to ash? Stay alert. This could be a trap. Nicola... Is that... really you? Are... are you... trying to tell me something? <gasps> he vanished. What the hell was that? Oh. A vestige. And are his memories inside? Each successor has the ability to manifest their crypt in a form that will best suit them. What will you choose for yours, Nicola? Well, if it's my choice, I want something cool. Like a giant robot that fights evil. I'd suggest a place that puts your heart at ease. A place where I can relax? Okay, I got it. So when I become a successor, can I use my power to make a copy of myself? Look tough, but I know she gets lonely. I think she'd be really sad if she knew I was gone. I'm sorry, no. The relics are simply too dangerous. The more you use their power, the greater the risk of sensing. And maintaining a duplicate of yourself would be far too much of a stranger. I'm afraid I cannot allow it. Besides that, your crypt will block any transmissions from the world outside. Even if your duplicate was with your sister's little now, you wouldn't share any of its experiences with her. Here it is. This place is your path to its successful. Okay, then. Off to fight. You're the bravest fighter we have. I pray that you have a long and peaceful rest.
Nicola, a successor. Up until now, all that time I was with Nicola, it was just a copy he made of himself. That means when I awakened as a revenant, he was already... I see. That does explain it. That's why he didn't get better after taking the blood beads. It can't be! The two of us, we were always together. We were always going to stay together. And now, after all this time, he... I didn't know. I never even suspected. Poor Nicola was alone this whole time. I think we'll find him farther up ahead. Let's go see him. That's why we're here, right? Fighting against the urge to frenzy all this time. It's incredible. Tough kid. I'm sorry, Nicola. I never realized... ...that your sister is here now! Thank you. You were the one taking care of me all along. Nicola, I'm so sorry. Okay, really. Thank you. Nicola! Mia? Is 
Is it really you, Mia? I'm so sorry. I left you all alone. It's okay. You didn't. Really, Mia? I'm... I'm just so glad you're finally awake. And hey, it looks like you've made a bunch of good friends. That's great. It's all thanks to you, Nicola. You were always at my side. That's what gave me the strength to keep fighting. That's why I'm here. You kept me safe all this time. You protected me and gave me courage. What more could I possibly hope for? Mia! My dear little brother, it seems you have truly become a knight. And you're the bravest, most noble knight of all. I love you, Nicola. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. <laughs> I... I love you too, sis. Nicola gave me life. I... There are still other successors out there. People like you, fighting against themselves in order to survive. It would be a mistake for me to stop now. Isn't that right, Nicola? for you, little brother. What is she doing here? Please, Jack. You have to save Jack. She's about to frenzy. Let's take her to the back. We can shoot her there. How do you feel? I apologize for barging in like that. What's going on exactly?
Do you know about the cavern underneath the cathedral? We... we were attacked there. Jack lured them away so that I could... <coughs> Slow down. Attacked? Wait, what were you doing down there in the first place? Our mission is the preservation of the successors and their relics. It is not a new phenomenon for successors to go into a frenzy. There has always been a need for someone to monitor them and to stop them if they ever begin to turn. A successor acts as a vessel for a relic in both body and will. If that vessel breaks, it has to be replaced. That's why. That's why you were hunting for revenants? We considered every possible option. We truly did. But in the end, that was the only one that would work. I know it's no excuse for what we've done, even if it was the only way. That is simply a burden I will have to live with. I will always carry them with me. I will never forget the faces and dreams of those who stepped forward to keep the relics safe. I suppose it really can't be all that easy to find a replacement vessel. That's why we're here, to keep a constant eye on the condition of the other successors. Wait, you guys are successors too? Jack watches the successors for signs of frenzy, while I act as a temporary replacement until we can find someone suitable. My voice has the power to stave off Frenzy, for a time at least. A temporary vessel. Hmm. I think I'm beginning to see. There's a successor resting in a crypt under the cathedral. We were traveling through the tunnels down there to check on them. I know I have no right to ask you for help, but... <coughs> it's all right. You rest here for now. We'll rescue Jack. I promise. Actually, I have a question. The successor whose crypt is under the cathedral, do you know who they are? I do. In addition to a number of other scientific endeavors, he was involved in Revenant research and an integral part of Project Queen. I believe you may have heard of him. Juzo Mido. Did you say... Mido? You know him? Yeah. He... He sold us out. Me and my entire family. Eva, can you hear me? The miasma must be too thick for it to get through. Jack, it's all right. We didn't come here to fight you. The cavalry's here. Your sidekick sent us. Eva did? Good. Then she got away safely. There's a lot I want to say to you, but I'll keep it short. Thank you for watching over Nicola. I really appreciate it. I'm not sure you should be thanking me. Who was it? Who attacked you? Somehow, the impossible happened. No successor should be able to escape from a sealed crypt. A successor? Wait, are you saying Mito attacked you? Eva already told you? That'll save some explaining. It's strange. 
I'm not picking up any relic response from Mito's body. And yet, as far as I can tell, the crypt is still functioning normally. I was completely blind to his deception. Wait, where are you going? Mito took the relics that were being held inside of Eva. He has to be stopped, no matter the cost. Let's go with him. This is my god. A vestige. Wait. Did that lost leave something behind? He was well known and celebrated as a scientific genius. But he used orphans like us as guinea pigs for his twisted experiments. Then sold us all into slavery as enhanced soldiers. How awful. He always told us. Humanity is but a stepping stone to the future. And curiosity is the philosopher's stone of evolution. His experiments never ended. He used my friends over and over again, like... like they were just objects. Mito, you bastard. I'll make you pay for what you've done. See, Lord the Queen? It's just absurd, Gregorio. Even you must realize that no progress can be made without sacrifice. Sir, the vessel has been prepared. This relic is a seed that will sprout our future. Even now, humanity buds into a new world of possibility. <laughs> Relic transfer into subject in this suit has begun. Compatibility of the main state. <laughs> Split! I can see why she volunteered. Blossom into a beautiful flower! The crypt is complete. No. Let's head to the crypt. Just like what happened with Nicola. Emily! Don't be reckless. We have to. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You were all alone, Emily. It must have been so hard. Bring your suffering to an end. Just hold on. 
a little while longer. Please, make it quick. I owe you big time for this. What are you doing there, child? Those pitiful creatures have fallen in their attempt to climb. No! They're still asleep! That's all! They'll wake up before long! I'm afraid we don't have the luxury to coddle late bloomers. However, their failure will fuel your success, for they will serve as offerings to your ascension. Wait! Whatever you want to do, just do it to me! Oh, an intriguing offer. Keep your grubby fingers off them. Yes, just as I thought. A temperate will has the power to resist the relic's corruption. Soon, humanity will rise to a higher plane of existence. Knowing all, transcending all, and eventually, consuming all. Just you wait, Gregorio. In the end, I will come for you. Emily. You okay? Yeah. If I slow down now, she'll give me a real earful. <sighs> You've got me in your pocket now. You're already carrying a lot on your shoulders. Let me help take some of the load, okay? Well, time to move. Come on, let's get going. That was such a moving scene. In fact, I almost found myself laughing. You, Mito. Hmm, 
Interesting. I don't see little Jack anywhere. Dealing with the successors was supposed to be his job. Saves us a search anyway. Your ass, pal! I'm here to take back all of the relics you stole. Oh, and do what with them exactly? After all, your vessel is broken. What are you talking about? Oh my, you didn't notice. I gave your precious Eva a little present. You're under the impression that you allowed her to escape. That is incorrect. I allowed her to escape. That's... I installed a prototype in that lovely throat of hers. But then... That means she was already... Damn you! I imagine that she'll frenzy before long, and a frenzied relic will be compelled to seek Gregorio. Do you suppose she's already wandering the snow-capped mountains? <laughs> don't have to fight anymore. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. I'll take on the relics now. <laughs> don't try to stop me.
So, it's over. No, this isn't the end. Come on, let's go see her again. What do you say? That's... it's not possible. I've put you through far too much. No, you haven't. When I first met you, I had absolutely nothing. You gave me the light of hope. And my voice. Please, don't be sad, Jack. From the moment I took on my role, I knew this would eventually be my fate. But... I was still happy. Because I was with you. Yeah. Me too. Your mission is an important one. So go on, and burn bright while the candle of life still burns. Eva... Will you sing for me again? One last time? in the breeze sitting in your bedroom all alone you wait to hear the sound of a door once locked now opening every time your frozen memories come to fall bit by bit melts away till there's nothing at all even when they're gone you hold on so tightly to Sing in the distance, old familiar cadence. 
Right. I'm gonna go after Mito. Wait. How do you even know where he is? He's performed countless experiments on the relics. And now, he's stolen the ones inside Eva. I think I know what his plan is. Reviving the Queen. In order to do that, he'll have to take Silva's relic as well. So, Silva's a successor. That's not the only problem. The Red Mist, the jail of the mists that covers the world and deepens Revenant's bloodthirst. The one who created it is none other than Silva. What? Why would Silva do that? Soldiers were needed to fight the Queen when she frenzied. Since humanity had already suffered significant losses, revenants were created to swell the ranks. In the end, we succeeded in stopping the Queen. But there are still a lot of humans living in the world outside. Without the Red Mist, both starving revenants and the Lost would be able to roam freely. It was created to prevent further tragedy. Though, I have to admit, if every Revenant was like you, it wouldn't have been as much of a concern. We'll take the path to the fortress. With speed and a little luck, we might catch it. Stop right there, Mito. <sighs> Your persistence is tiring. So tell me, just what exactly are you after anyway? What do you have to gain in reviving the Queen? Reviving the Queen? <laughs> What's so damn funny? I've collected enough data already. I have no more use for the Queen. Then why? Let me ask you something. Do you ever sit back and wonder why you were created in the first place? Or why revenants have power far beyond that of mere humans? That's simple. Everyone knows it was to stop the Queen when she frenzied. Aren't you forgetting something? The day of the Great Collapse? The creatures that caused all that ruin. Both Revenants and the Queen were created to eliminate those horrors. And yet, they are all still incomplete. I wanted to witness Gregorio's monstrous transformation with my own eyes, but sadly it cannot be. Now, allow me to show you the truth of our world. Cage is unlocked.
red mist is fading? We can go out. We can leave! Yes! We're free! We can finally escape this horrible prison! We've been here so long! What's going on? What is that thing? No, please! Someone help! Please help me! Still alive? The mist isn't fading. All oh, those relics, and yet somehow he still resists. Stubborn fool! I'll finish you with my own hands! How can you still not understand? You all saw them too! The world outside is overrun with creatures that devour everything in their path! They will be the source of even greater strength for all revenants. Evolution is everything. It is our duty, our very hope as a species. Gregorio didn't see that, the blind fool. So he created the Red Mist as a cage and sealed away all his research. He was satisfied with merely eliminating the feeble horrors within his pen, and thus foolishly halted the march of progress. But the horrors outside continued to evolve, until finally they transcended Revenants and became an existential threat. You fools noticed nothing! Our prison of Red Mist became a barricade, protecting Revenants from the horrors that awaited them beyond its borders. All this time you were being shielded by Gregorio from reaching your true potential. The hypocrisy turns my stomach. But now the time has finally come for us to leave the Cradle. Let us all rise and ascend the ladder of evolution together! You bastard! After all you've done, just how many more lives are you willing to sacrifice? Enough, Mito! We won't let you do this! A pity. Those who are too weak to keep up with the speed of progress do not deserve to live. What swill? We will stop you. After all they've done for everyone. The successors will not have suffered in vain.
You're done. What are you? Amazing. Miasma. No, it can't be. Not the Queen. Why? Why are they...
this to me. Rest well. 